Hi, I'm Yogeshwar and uh, welcome to the weekly technical analysis of the Indian stock markets. And as I was saying uh, last time, if you look at the last analysis, this is where Nifty looked like at that time. And it was hugely imbalanced. That's what the prices have been doing whenever they become very imbalanced. They try to create the balance pack. And here also is exactly the same thing that the price is doing. So at this price, around here, the P of the market, P was 40, which is a very, very expensive P of the market, if you will see. Uh, P of 40 on 14th jet, which is too expensive a market. And now some correction has started coming in the market. And today, the P of the market is about 36. A healthy P is about uh, in 20s, you know, around 24, 25. That can be the healthy P of the market. And you see that Nifty from here has started correcting. Now, if we go here around this point, this is a P of about 36. That means if it comes down and touches around this level, you are looking at a P of about 28, 29. That is the P that you are looking around. And we had a big run up. If you see here, in uh, 2020, since the corona crisis, uh, with a lot of people sitting at home, retail public participated into the market, money being printed all over the world, flowing into the stock market, the rally has continued. But every rally has to finish at some time. And I think, our rally is now halting and 2021 might be the year of consolidation. And the way it is selling off, you see the way it is selling off. And one of the primary reasons of the sell off that we are seeing is here is that FIIs are booking profit. Are booking profits and sell. That's what FIAs are doing. In the last uh, three, four days, they are booking profits and selling. So if you go to money control, and if I go down here, see here, they were on 22nd January, they sold for 635 crores. 25th, they sold for 766. In 27th, they sold for 1600 crores and today on 28th January, yesterday, 28th January, they sold for 3700 crores and I'm sure today we have a similar selling that is going on. And uh, this market is driven on the upside when they buy and it is going on the downside when they are selling. And on Monday we have the budget. So budget would be a very important event for us. but. One thing uh, that is there is that every rally is led by a correction. So the correction has already started. And how long will the correction be? Where will it go? This is the balance line. If you see here, this one is the balance line. And looks to be the nearby target of the market. When it goes down, this also goes a little up. So somewhere around 12,500 around this level looks to be a nearby target if the selling continues. Now, this rally started somewhere around this level. And a healthy correction is a 38% retracement. So if I go into this. And I'm looking at that. Roughly. A healthy correction would be a 38% retracement in a bull market. And we are very much in a bull market. So that will correspond to about 12,000 rupees. So Anywhere between 12,000 to 13,000, that is where the correction is likely to happen. And a 23 fib retracement is at about 
13,000. That means the support levels are 13,000, 12,500, and 12,000 on the markets there. So this is the Nifty. If we look at the bank Nifty, Nifty Bank, Nifty Bank is also correcting. In a similar fashion, it was not as strong as Nifty. There is a selling, little stronger than the market in the last two days. But overall, there is a selling pressure on Bank Nifty also. And uh, maybe 26, uh, 600 is where the support for this one. Another index that is there now is the Fin Nifty. Fin Nifty. That's a new index that has been introduced for the Finance sector, and if I look at Fin Nifty here, Fin Nifty has also correcting on the downward side. So overall, the whole market is correcting. And looking at the big names like Reliance, Reliance has already gone below the balance line. If you go back on my earlier video, somewhere around with a huge disbalance in Reliance, it already came and touched the balance line once and now tried to touch it again and took support here. And today it has decisively broken this line. It is at 1841. And in Reliance, if you see around, this is an important level about 1800 rupees. If 1800 support it can take, it can move up, but if this support is broken, it can travel down to as low as 1466. Another big name, HDFC Bank, is also correcting, similar to the bank Nifty. Then if I'm looking at the technology giant TCS, TCS is not very weak. If you see, the correction in TCS is there, but not as strong as the correction in other stocks. So this might be a good stock to accumulate on the dips. Another one, you know, Hindustan Lever from the FMCG segment. This has started showing weakness, more weak than the index. And if you see on this, keep an eye on this trend line. And 2150 looks to be a target for this one. When a selling happens, selling is normally broad-based. It is a broad-based selling, which goes across various sectors. So if I look at the various sectors of the market and see how are they doing in this. This is auto. Auto is a strong sector, good recovery that is happening, but this one is also selling. Banks have started selling. Commodities are weak. Consumption is weak. TPSC is very weak, almost coming near the balance line. Energy is weak. Financial services, still some strength, FMCG weak, infra weak, IT weak, media weak, metals weak. So what we can see is selling is broad based. It is in all the sectors, weakness in MNC, weakness in pharma, weakness in private banks, PSC, PSU banks, reality and services sector. So of course, all the sectors, there is weakness coming. So what should you do? What kind of year does 2021 looks like? 2021 looks like the year of consolidation and a healthy correction. A crash, no, but correction, yes. And uh, the budget that is coming on Monday would be very important as to set the tone for the economy. And with the uh, a lot of uh, recovery to be needed into the country. Uh, the stock market of India is not as expensive as the stock market of the USA or other places, but we are still on the little expensive side. 
So expect some correction to continue, but every level down, don't wait for it to come down here. It's not going to happen, but every level will give you an opportunity to add quality stocks into the portfolio. We in Pathfinders teach you how to build portfolio. We in Pathfinders teach you how you can go and learn to how to do your trading. And even in this market today, I was uh, very much into a small profit when the market was crashing. You know, there was some profit and I've already executed a pre-budget strategy which was probability of success is more than almost 80%, no matter which side the market goes. So if you want to learn stock market, just go to my site, pathfinderstrainings.com. And once you are here on this site, click on paid training. And here you can give a thousand rupees advance to give an intro. Uh, Admission into the course is interview based. So give an interview and give the advance for it. And if you're selected, then it is adjusted into the course fees. And if you fail, it is returned back to you. It is a lifetime of a training for serious people who want to learn it more scientifically and not the gambling or the dependency way. So. Thank you very much, guys, for coming into uh, these sessions. And I do a weekly analysis. And next week, I'll again come back with an analysis. But in the meantime, be ready for some more correction into the market. Thank you. And see you again.